every like five minutes and then it stops and then it starts again every five minutes. Lovely. Yeah. Foggy. Back to you in the studio. Seattle. Um, we went into Hong Kong. We spent some time in Hong Kong doing, um, eating a bunch of food. We had tons of dim sum. We got to see Warren Chu, um, a friend from college, and I got to see Sarah Lotto, my old teammate. And we went out to Big Buddha. It was probably my favorite thing in Hong Kong. It was this huge Buddha statue. It was like over 100 feet tall, sitting Buddha, and um, you got to take a tram out there. You could have hiked. There was actually a race going on, but we went out to this big Buddha, and we went really early in the morning, and there was nobody there, and so we got to go up and walk around the Buddha, and um, it's in the middle of the forest, and then we got to walk to the Temple of 10,000 Buddhas, and we walked around there. Victoria's Peak, everyone said, come check out the views. And as you can see, all we got was fog. A beautiful fog view. And we're staying at Shangri-La Kowloon with Sarah Lotto, uh, which is really nice, super, super nice. And um, we walked around Central all over the place. We walked, um, we met up with Warren and we went to two phenomenal meals. We went to Duddles and had all you can eat dim sum and champagne. And then we went to a place called Tokyo Lima for the tasting menu and it was like Peruvian Japanese fusion and it was amazing. Um, like so many courses I couldn't even remember them all. I just eaten our way through the city completely. This is hilarious. Best view you've ever we seen? We can see anything. <laughs> we can see the trees. A tree. At least we get the observation deck all to ourselves. Hate We're crowds. Up here. Hate crowds. <laughs> We're very antisocial. <laughs> the metro system works really well. Yeah, I mean, New York can learn tons. Their exits are all labeled. Their trains are all clean. Um, you can walk the whole length of the train inside. It's really neat. Um, when we were walking around yesterday, all the nannies get Sunday off, and so they put out these picnics on cardboard and on like the sidewalk and have card games and play and do um, just hang out and there's music it would be like us hanging out in Central Park and they hang out in these like cardboard boxes on the side of the street and today is our last day and then we head to Bangkok and hang out with Bart but yes we saved the foggiest day for the day when we were looking for a view From Hong Kong, we went to Bangkok and we hung out with Bart in Bangkok. I got to see his apartment, which was really neat. I got to see his dog, Basil, and we met his girlfriend, Oom. She took, they took us to this, um, their favorite place, uh, Thai food, which was like behind a hotel and it was like this little tarp over um, the chef, like this little lady was cooking and there was no menu and you just like ordered what you wanted. And um, we sat on little plastic stools at a little plastic table and it was really the best Thai food we had the whole trip. Yeah. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Is there a name to this restaurant? <laughs> I, 
What is it? J Wee. J Wee. Her the lady's name is Wee. Okay, J Wee. So you can say J Wee. And what is this one? Hot Dog Say it loud for the camera. Hot Dog Pow Moosam. There you go. Can you remember? Can we say that later? Had kapow. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Looks like the kid. Yummy. Oh, this is a soup. Oh. Yeah. This is like some clear soup with like some tofu, some pork balls, some cabbage, some noodles in there, glass noodles. He also took us to the river and we went up the river to Chinatown and we got to see Chinatown, which is crazy because in my head we're in. Asia, so it was like a little Asia in Asia. also went to a park and walked around this park. It was like Central Park, but it had all this gym equipment in it. But, um, just like like ellipticals and like all this crazy gym equipment just like scattered throughout the park. And uh, for like 20 baht, there was like a gym, like a muscle gym where like they had tires and they filled them with concrete and you could lift stuff and stuff. Um, so that was pretty funny to see. Bart says he works out at one of them. There were lizards, these like big dragon looking lizard things that were crawling around the park and um, we ate at the Smoking Pug, which is where Bart works, so barbecue. We went all the way to Thailand to get some of the best barbecue I've ever had. His uh, roommate is the chef, Teresa, and she, um, she cooks all the barbecue. She wakes up at 8 a.m. and smokes it all day. They smoke it overnight, and it was really, really good. How do you say beautiful? Sawai. And how do you say bad luck? Sawai. <laughs> good luck with that one. Yeah. temples now and lots. Um, we walked around, uh, we're gonna do an elephant tour, we're gonna do a cooking class, and uh, right now we're just walking around and seeing all the temples. Today we played with the elephants. We came to the Rantong um, where they save and rescue elephants. So there are about 20 elephants here and there are two babies, a two month old and a two year old that weigh about 900 pounds each. Um, we got to ride the elephants and we got to feed them. They ate um, sugar cane grass, they're vegetarians. They took these big pumpkins and crushed them in their mouth. It was crazy strong. Um, Connie and I picked our which elephant we wanted to feed, and we went right over to it. Um, one we see was her name, and we fed her maybe a whole bucket of things, and then we got to mount up on her, and we took her on a loop around. I got to sit up on her head by her ears, and so I put my knee up in her ear, and then Connie was right behind me, and there's just a rope around that we held on to, and then we took them and gave them back, and we went down into the water, and they literally played like animals, like. Um, on their side and they were splashing around it was really cute but um, one of the best meals I had here too, cow soy. 
so yummy. You need to find it. A northern Thailand dish with um, like Penang, but it has coconut milk too. So it was really good, but it was really fun. I actually really enjoyed feeding them. They're really kind of gentle creatures. And um, as our guide Kay said, they were um, greedy. They're greedy animals. Love eating. So excited to the, that we got to do that. Um, we did a cooking class with On. Look at all of this. I think I know the name from the first the long one. Lemon grass? This one. This yeah. is a lemon grass. This one is ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Very good. Ginger Thai, ginger or galangal. You know the cooking. This is. I don't know that. Yeah. Turmeric? Turmeric is ginger. Oh, oh yeah. wow. <laughs> and the main seasoning in the kitchen, we use a fish sauce for cook everything. Yeah, fish sauce. Yeah, fish sauce for everything. No salt, too. Okay. no any salt to make the fish sauce. Okay. We learned how to cook um, a coconut chicken sauce. We learned how to cook um, papaya salad, and um, I learned a Penang curry and a green curry, and there was so much food. It was so good. Awesome hotel with a pool. And then we went up to Soy. Um, Dutha, which is the wat up on the hill, and this is where they walked an elephant around, a white elephant, and to, with a holy, um, Buddhist holy hair on it until he died, and wherever he died, that's where they built their temple, and it looks out over the, the whole hill, and it's beautiful, it's gold, we were there at sunset, and it really shimmered at the golden hour, and at um, 6 p.m. every day, the, the monks have a ceremony that they do, so we gotta watch their ceremony and their chanting, and um, it was neat seeing the monks. Our guide actually used to be a monk too, so it was nice talking with him. Thank you.